aircraft flying at cruising speed flies in compressible regime and at high flight Reynolds number. There are two different types of flow control method, active flow control method and passive flow control method. Active flow control methods use external source of energy to control the flow and manipulate the boundary layer to obtain desired performance outcome. Different active flow control methods have been used in aircraft prototypes to reduce the stalling speed and increase the stalling angle of attack. It is very efficient in delaying the flow separation on aerodynamic surfaces. These devices are certainly advantageous in lower speed maneuver like takeoffs and landing. But the application in cruising speeds brings up our research question. In this research, we have optimized synthetic jet. Synthetic jet is device that uses jets of air to locally excite the boundary layer. The jets of air is created by periodic suction and blowing of surrounding air. Sucking of the lower energy air particles from boundary layer and blowing with higher velocity adds the momentum to the air molecules at boundary layer. This delays the separation of flow due to adverse pressure gradient and also enhances the aerodynamic performance. Here, by means of aerodynamic simulation, we have analyzed the effect of this device in compressible flow. And the optimization is done for the best location of the jet, velocity of the jet and frequency of actuation. Two-dimensional Maka 0015 airfoil was used for the simulation. The mesh was generated by using block mesh utility in open form software. This allowed the mesh size to be very computable and highly customizable. Actual modeling of the actuators was not done due to the computational limit. So the mathematical modeling of the velocity condition had the patch of the synthetic jet injection was done. Simulation for the lower Reynolds number was done in the beginning. After the stabilization and convergence, the compressible conditions were introduced. Solvers were progressed from simple foam, piece of foam, and raw pimple foam. With the appropriate boundary condition and initial condition, simulation was done for Mach number 0.4 and Reynolds number 12.7 million with K omega turbulence modeling. After the analysis of the flow field, optimization was done for the 8 degrees angle of attack. Response surface methodology was selected for the optimization process. It facilitates evaluating the effects of multiple factors and their interaction on one or more response variables. Three design variables were decided, velocity of the synthetic jet, frequency of the jet, and location of the jet from leading edge of the airfoil. Box vehicle design was selected for the design of experiment. A total of 13 simulations were required to create a dataset. In this schematic diagram, blue spheres represent the extremities of the constraints. The location of synthetic jet was selected from 40 to 60 percent of the core length. The frequency of the jet was limited from 20 to 276 hertz, and the actuation velocity was limited from 0.4 to 2.2 of the inlet velocity. These limits were considered based on the past researches, and the design variables are non-dimensionalized. After creating the dataset, Minitab software was used to analyze the data. Then the response equation of aerodynamic performance was obtained using least square method. This is the three-dimensional plot of the effect of design variables on the aerodynamic performance. Further optimization was done by minimizing the drag to lift ratio using genetic algorithm. At 40% of the current length with actuation frequency of 262.43 and the injection velocity of 0.4, the maximum lift to drag ratio was predicted. The optimization model had the R square value of 0.98, indicating the high accuracy of the model. A complementary simulation was done for the obtained conditions. It showed that there was a relative error of 2.92% between predicted and the obtained performance. CFT code was validated by comparing the numerical results with the experimental values from the reference research conducted at NASA cryogenic wind tunnel for the same Reynolds number and the Mach number. Also, simulation for the NACA 0012 airfoil was done using the same setting and it was compared with the reference data sheet for compressible flows. So in conclusion, synthetic jets can be used to improve the aerodynamic performance in compressible regime too. Unlike the incompressible flow, 
drastic increase in performance is not seen in the compressible flow, but reasonable reduction in the wake size was observed. In this study, the aerodynamic performance was increased by 8.44% at the optimized location, actuation frequency, and the velocity of synthetic 